I'm standing here in front of three different panel lifts. Over here we have the hydraulic panel lift that actually has an attachment on it that allows me to crank the drywall up to the cradle itself. And here is the traditional ceiling lift that just totally just is a crank, uh, a great tool that I've used for many years. These two tools work for ceilings. Over here we have the, the panel lift called the Hang Pro that hangs the drywall on the wall. So we have everything covered. So now, instead of having to do all the lifting and holding by yourself or with a helper, these tools do it for you. They actually increase production and really eliminate all that heavy lifting and holding that really is going to shorten your career. I use these tools in all my jobs and I make money using them. This is a drywall lift for hanging drywall on ceilings, um, but what's unique about it is it's hydraulic. There's also an attachment that I'm going to put on this lift that's going to be really cool. Let me show you how easy it is to put together. You can see these, this wheelbase is quite durable. Yeah, nice big wheels, I really like it, nice and sound. So this is the hydraulic part. It just sits right in the base. And this is the motor. Like you said, we have the place, then I hook up the, the oil. And what I'm going to attach next, normally you just put crayon on top, but when I have this tool, I actually have an attachment that I'm going to put right in front of this, and this will allow me to not actually have to lift the drywall up on the lift, which I'll explain in the here. So what this has, see this little cradle down here? That actually, I'm going to set drywall on top of that, and that and turn and lifts it up to the cradle that I'm putting here on the top next. Because what happens is you've got this lift that you're going to be using to hang ceilings. It's going to avoid all that handling, all that lifting, right? But typically, you still have to lift the piece of drywall up onto this crate, which is probably three feet off the ground, a little over three feet off the ground. So this is a 14 foot piece of drywall, and let's say I'm working alone, or even if I have a helper, we have to lift that 14 foot piece of drywall up onto this cradle here. But with this attachment, I don't have to. Okay, what I have now is I got the lift totally assembled, and I'm ready to lower a piece of drywall onto it. I can actually take this tool and go right to my pile of drywall, and load it right on the lift, and then move it back to wherever I want. Let's say I'm hanging a sheet right here in the middle of the room. I go load it, bring it over, so the only thing I'm going to do is to get it on that bottom cradle. Let me show you how easy that is. I'm just setting it by eye on this sheet. Then all I have to do is lift it, lift that one corner a few inches, and now it's on that cradle. So now it's on the lower cradle, and I'm just going to turn this handle and crank it up onto this lift. All I'm going to do is I just turn, I just crank this up, and it pulls lifts the piece of drywall right up onto these um, little levers that are hooked to the, the upper cradle. So, see how easy it is for me just to turn it right up. Sometimes if it's not perfectly centered, I just have to lift it to get on that edge right there. Then I can actually lower the, this cradle back down. Now I can take the lift and I can move it any place I want in the room. Because these wheels are really nice, it just rolls, rolls along really well. And let's just pretend I'm going to hang it right here on the ceiling. Now, there it goes. Now, if I want to raise it up, 
just as easy as that. What I have here is um, the drywall lift that I've been using for years, probably 25, 30 years. It really works good. Um, but I still have to lift that piece of drywall onto this cradle, which is probably close to three feet off the ground. Which, for most pieces of drywall, that's not that difficult. But for example, on a ceiling like this, this is all 5 eighths drywall, and they're 16 foot long. You're not going to lift, particularly by yourself, a 16 foot piece of 5 eighths fire cord onto this lift. But over here, I just have like the oh, roughly 10 foot piece of drywall, and I'm going to show you how I would have to lift that and set it down in this cradle. This is just regular half inch drywall, so it's um, relatively light. The good face always has to face the cradle, so just tip it up quick. And then I just gotta bring it over to the lift and try to center it. I can see it's probably not too bad right there. And really, that's not too bad because only three inches so off the floor. But like I said, this is a pretty light piece of drywall. I want to address the issue of people always saying the ceiling lifts, you can hang walls with it. Well, I think you can. But it's very difficult, and I'm going to show you what I mean. And I actually think it's a little bit dangerous, but yes, you can. But let me just show you why I don't like doing it. And that's because this cradle does not tip that way. So as I lift it towards the ceiling, I've got to tip it off the cradle so it's only on these little supports right there. So I've got it as close to the wall as I can get. And because I also have a fear, once I start putting pressure against that ceiling, with the lift, it's going to start kicking the lift out. So that's why I actually lock the base. So now I've actually limited my ability to go back and forth, which is critical if you always have a little sideways movement that is necessary. So then I'm going to I'll just go up a little bit more. And then actually I have to tip the drywall against the wall and then lift it up to the ceiling, which will work. But like I said, I've kind of lost my ability to move sideways. And it's a little bit scary to do, particularly on a higher ceiling like this. This ceiling is about 12 feet high. And I just actually don't feel safe using this lift to hang walls. This is a hang pro panel lift. It is made for hanging drywall on walls. It does not hang ceilings, exclusively walls. But keep in mind, about 80% of the drywall in most homes is on the wall. So having a ceiling lift is great, but having a lift for hanging on the walls is also a must-have. Um, how this works is, it actually works a bit like a hand car, so once I get the drywall on, I can move it around like that, but it also has a little coaster wheels in the front that allow me to go side to side, which is critical when you're trying to position it right against that ceiling and move it back and forth just a little bit. It has a, a winch that is an auto lock, so when I put weight on this cradle, you don't have to worry about that weight pulling the cradle back down. So, let me show you how easy it is to load. I just bring it right up to the piece of drywall, center it, and then all I really have to do is go to one end of the sheet and just lift that and put it right on that cradle. So that's all the lifting I'm really going to have to do with this, this piece of drywall. Now I'm just going to raise it up a little bit. Then I actually want to bring it over to that area to hang it on that wall. So now this is where it comes in like I'm using a hand cart to get it away from that pile of drywall. And then those coaster wheels in the front allow me to move it right where I want it. Then I'll bring it right up to the wall. And see the side to side movements that allow me to put it exactly where I want it. And as I start wrenching it up, that's when I lean it against the wall. I'm not worried about it kicking back because these coaster wheels do not pivot. They lock right tight. And I'm able to just... I'm able to crank it right up to that ceiling. And 
And once I get it closed, I can maneuver it back and forth to get it exactly where I want it. Then just push it up tight, hold it right in place against the ceiling. And because the bottom is slightly pulled out, your first fastener is along the top edge. Then you lower the cradle and you can fasten the rest of the sheet. Really easy. There's, this is a 54 inch high by 12 foot piece of drywall. And I'm able to lift and hold it in place without actually, actually having to lift and hold it in place. This tool does all the work for me. I've got the lift right against the drywall on the wall. Just lifting it slightly, put it on the cradle, tipping it back towards the lift. Just getting it off the ground just a little bit. And now I take the entire lift and I put it right against the wall. You don't want it tipping backwards because then all the weight will be pushing away from the wall. Right now it's just going to glide it right up the, over the insulation. Once I get it close to where I want it, I do want to tighten this corner because of the front uh, coaster wheels. I'm able to just pull it to the left. There is enough play in the cradle that allows me to I still attach it to a ceiling or walls that are a little bit out of plumb. Now I'm just putting it up nice and tight. And now I just go through fast in the top edge, fasten around the windows, and I'm cutting the windows out afterwards. A lot of people don't really know that you can hang the bottom piece of drywall on a wall with the, the hang pro. All you do, similar to just hanging the ceiling, put it on the cradle. Now, what I like to do is I like to crank it up above the other sheet and then lower it down into place. So I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit, push it against the wall. Now you can see it's a little bit above the other panel. So I'm gonna lower it slowly down to where I want it. Now I'll check to see if it needs to go this way. It can go a little bit, but it's hitting in the bottom corner, so it probably won't. And there you go. There's a 12 foot piece of drywall, easily lifted and held into place, even for the bottom panel. All right, I've got to lift the bottom panel up about a half inch. And the traditional way to raise it up is with a foot lift. And it can be done but it's not as easy or as user friendly as a using the hang tool. You gotta kick it underneath it and then try to balance it and get it in place and keep your foot on it as you're fastening. <coughs> Definitely more of a two-person job than it would be if I just use a hand crawl. 